Okay, good morning. First things first. Um, enjoy these next three days while I am away. I've definitely tasked you with many things that you need to get done at your own pace. And uh, I'll be checking in with you guys probably periodically from the conference I'm at. So the first thing I want you to do, you guys have heard me say before, I would absolutely love it if at, after the end of the semester I could hand out 31 A's. To me as a teacher that would be great because that means all 31 students in this class have mastered the accounting uh, materials that I expected them to learn, which is outstanding. That means you'll be better prepared for your accounting classes in college, future jobs you have, and all that good stuff. So this first task that I want you to work on is you're going to create a diagram that shows your current quiz scores. I'm going to have you reflect a little bit about that diagram. Then I'm going to give you the opportunity to pick out your lowest quiz score and retake it. Again, my goal isn't just so that you guys get a good grade, it's that you understand the material. That's the purpose for being in this class and for being in school. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to do is you're going to go to My Drive and you're going to go to Create and you're going to select a spreadsheet. Again, your Drive, Create, Spreadsheet. When you do so, a blank spreadsheet is going to open up. Inside that blank spreadsheet, I want you to list um, two column titles, Quiz Name and Score Earned. Then underneath each of those titles, so for quiz name, you're just going to transfer in all the names of the quizzes we've taken. You can either use um, the names off of this example, or if easier for you, you can log into Home Access Center and grab the names that way too, that's fine. Then you're just going to simply transfer your specific percent you earned on each quiz. Okay, when you're done with that, you're going to highlight everything, and you're going to, ah, you're going to insert a chart. So highlight what you want to insert, which is everything you've typed in. You're going to go to Insert Chart. And we're going to choose a column chart, which is the one in the lower right-hand corner. Then we're going to spice it up a little bit. We're going to make it look a little bit more organized, a little better. You guys have probably learned in your science or global studies courses, all charts should have three things. A title, an X and Y axis labels. Let's go ahead and give this a title, Mr. P's Quiz Scores. If you want, you can play around with the size of your title, um, the color of your title, make it bold, unbold it, whatever you want. You can change the font, you can add a background color, whatever you want to do. Then let's go ahead and let's add in uh, titles for our access labels. First is horizontal or the X axis. So we're going to call this um, quiz name. I'm going to make this also red so it matches up. Then I'm going to go to my Y access label, which is uh, score earned. And I am going to also make that red so everything matches up nice. And let's change the color of our columns to, let's choose yellow. We'll go red and, uh, that's kind of ugly. That's all right, we'll, we'll keep it like that. So you can play around with this, make it look as pretty as you want. When you're done, hit insert, okay? Now, you'll notice right away a problem. If you look at the names of the quizzes down here at the bottom, you can't see them all. The chart's not big enough. So all you need to do here is just kind of make this chart a little bit. You're gonna have to play around with it a little bit, make it a little bit wider. Um, make it a little bit longer until you see the numbers appear. Let's see if that did anything for us. Nope, we still need to make it a little bit bigger. There we go, almost there. Okay, now my chart's big enough for me to see all of the names of my quizzes and all of my quiz scores. Okay, pretty simple. Now, again, neat thing about Google is uh, Google Spreadsheets is that it automatically save for you uh, so you don't need to play around with any of this your charts gonna automatically save in live time so now we're gonna go to our website so back to my drive sites you're gonna pull up your personal digital portfolio site and we're gonna add in a new page so let's go to the new page button and we're gonna call this one quizzes okay put page at top level hit create Awesome. Automatically we're in editing mode, which is what we want. First thing I want you to do is you're going to change the layout to two, I'm sorry, two, which one do I want here? Let's go uh, one column and let's type in this page will display my current accounting quiz scores. Okay. Now here we're going to insert our chart. So you're going to go to insert chart. By default, on my guess is you guys have only have, this might be the first chart many of you have created this year. So uh, it should be at the top of this list. Look for the what you named your chart. So here's mine, Mr. P's Quiz Scores. Hit select. And this is very important. We need to make sure the width is left empty. It's going to maximize the width. And let's have the height be 900 pixels. Width, leave blank, blank, height 900 pixels. Add in it the title. Mr. P's quiz scores. 
and hit save. Hit save again, and voila, there's your chart. Okay? Now, I want you to analyze this chart. So if this was real, if I was a real student, I'd take a look at this. Wow, I got two perfect scores. One was on nonprofit number two. The other one was on business types and forms number two. Let's take a look at the, the, the quiz I did the worst on. That's accounting users and assumptions number one. Well, you guys now know for every quiz we take two quizzes. One is multiple choice, one is written. The multiple choice is always going to be the number ones and the written is always going to be the number twos. So if I was this student, I'm going to retake this quiz, accounting users and assumptions number one. So I'm going to go back to the blog and I'm going to find that quiz that I want to retake. Okay, but before I do that, if I want to get credit for it, what I need to do is underneath my chart, down here, I need to reflect. So let's type in the question I want you to reflect about. Um, why am or am I not satisfied with my quiz scores and how can I improve my quiz, quiz scores? Ah. Okay, then underneath that question, you're going to provide me with a specific answer about why you're satisfied with your quiz scores, why you're not, and how you feel you can improve your quiz scores. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to type in your answer. You're going to hit save. And then you're going to go back to the blog. It's not posted there yet, but on the blog, you're going to find the link to that quiz that you need to retake and you're going to retake it. That's the first task you're going to do for me. Um, again, in my opinion, if you have any quiz left less than 90%, you should consider coming in and retaking all those that are left than 90. Because to me, if you score less than 90% on a quiz and you have not mastered that concept, then why are you here? I want all of you guys to have 100% mastery in every single quiz. That's why you're in this class, to increase your knowledge of accounting. So let's go ahead and make sure that happens. But for this task, I'm only allowing you to retake one quiz, and that's the one that you scored the lowest on. Okay, so go ahead, go to your drive, create your spreadsheet, enter in the names of the quizzes, all your quiz scores, insert your chart, go to your website, embed that chart, answer these reflection quizzes, or these reflection questions, and then retake your quiz. That's task number one. All right, best of luck, enjoy, and let's get these quiz grades up.